welcome to Unsung Sluts' first ever YouTube field trip. <laughs> we are at the Portal of the Folded Wings, which is a monument to um, pioneers of aviation. And several um, very cool sluts are buried here. And so we are going to tell you a little bit about them and learn some things ourselves. But this uh, building is really pretty. This building is very pretty and it was built in 1924 and it was yeah. the original entryway to um, to the the memorial. You can find the Bapo Airport, which yeah. is right there. There's also a memorial here to astronauts that have been lost. Yeah, Several of them, female, female. Columbia and, and Challenger, yeah. Columbia and Challenger, one on either side, and there are these bronze portraits of the astronauts whose lives were lost in the pursuit of excellence and science and science. Right, here we go into the nice and creaky, nice and creaky gate. Beautiful architecture. The artist who created this memorial is actually buried nearby, uh, but we're not going to talk about him. <laughs> so this is a memorial to Amelia Earhart, um, despite the fact that her uh, remains may or may not have ever been found. person that we're going to introduce you to is Helder Florentina Smith. She was the first female pilot to fly out of what would become LAX. Sarah is another woman. She loved Guinness. And she loved Guinness. <laughs> Yeah, so this is June night, and she wasn't in Aviatrix. This whole graveyard is just filled with like silent movie actors and actresses, and she's one of them. Her story is just kind of crazy. She was born here in Los Angeles. Due to health problems, she was almost forced into show business, if you can believe it. So she was diagnosed with infantile paralysis soon after she was born. And then she had a whole list of other uh, ailments at the age of 20 months, so she's not even two years old, she contracted the measles. Oh and then God. the very next day, she was diagnosed with scarlet fever and almost died. Can you imagine being her parents? Oh my God. She slowly got better, but remained weak. Soon after recovering from scarlet fever, she got diphtheria. Oh my God. She's like a walking <laughs> She had no vaccination. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's like, this is why we vaccinate. Poor baby. And then uh, she was not fully recovered from diphtheria when she contracted a mastoid infection. Then she developed pneumonia followed by whooping cough. Oh no. And she survived. Like she survived, you know, it was this 1913 to 1987. So 
what happened. Oh, and then I, I forgot to tell you, um, her parents and doctors did not expect her to live one more night. Yeah. But then she, at the age of four, she got tuberculosis. And because she couldn't walk because of the in, infantile paralysis early on, mm -hmm. she started dancing. And that wow. was to get her strength up. And eventually, when she was 10 years old, she started to sing and dance in public. This led to basically uh, leading roles and being in movies. She became a member of the Dancing Stock Company at Warner Brothers Studios in 1928. And she had a short-lived film career, appearing in like 12 movies in the 1930s, most notably in the Broadway Melody of 1936. She was married uh, several times. She was married to the vice president of the Lockheed Aircraft Company, uh -huh. Carl B. Squire. Yeah, and she does have a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And it looks like Carl is actually... That's Carl right there. Carl is laid to rest here next to her. And uh, and what's cool about him, he was, like, like you said, the... Um, a salesman of airplanes, but he sold planes to Charles Lindbergh, Amelia Earhart, and Wiley Post, Very cool. which is kind of cool. That's a whole lot of history just right there. Yeah, this place is really incredible. Yeah. In this general vicinity in the Garden of Remembrance is an actress named Lida Gray. I think it's Lida, L-I-T-A, Gray. She was an actress in the early 20s, and in fact, she worked on movies with Charlie Chaplin when she was 12 years old. And at the ripe old age of 15, Charlie Chaplin knocked her up. Oh, yeah, as he would age, like to do, I guess. And at 16, she married him. So oh. buried in this grave is one of Charlie Chaplin's wives. After three years of marriage, they divorced. She continued to act. She did plays and other movies. But she's known for her films include The Devil's Sleep, Mr. Broadway, The Idol Class, and The Kid. I was gonna say, is she the kid? Yeah. She's not the kid, but she was in The Kid. Uh -huh. Yeah, so one of Charlie Chaplin's very first wives, the young, young bride. Yeah. So we're on a walk now. Yeah, watch your step. Through the watch graveyard. Oh, we did it. It was cold. It's so cold. <laughs> so it's coffee 30. Yep. Time for, time for a latte. <laughs> so uh, thank you for coming with us on this trip to Valhalla Memorial, Portal of the Folded Wings, etc., etc. We hope you had a good time. And stay slutty. Stay slutty.